Welcome to the Women's uh, Sprint press conference here in Nove Miesto in Amoravi. We have the winners with us from uh, Norway, Marta Olsby Reuseland. Second place went to Germany, Laura Dahlmeier. And third place representing Slovakia is Paulina Fialkova. Marte, first World Cup win. How does it feel? Uh, it's a dream that I had uh, all year. It was uh, my main goal to win for the first time. So. Um, I'm really happy that I um, can go home for Christmas holiday and have a win. <laughs> so how does it feel compared to the medal you won in Pyeongchang? Um, it's hard to compare uh, the medal and this victory, but um, uh, the medal was last year, last season, but then this is now. So, um, I'm just looking forward and I'm really happy that I uh, got my first win today. Did you fear that Laura would take the win away on her final loop? Yes, of course. <laughs> I know Laura. <laughs> and uh, I was really nervous on her standing and in the last loop. So, yeah, I was a bit happy when she crossed the finish line behind me. <laughs> so tomorrow you will be chased by 59 others. Have you already thought about a strategy for the, for the competition tomorrow? No, absolutely not. <laughs> I'm just um, enjoying this evening and I'm really happy for today and uh, tomorrow I have to focus uh, what's happened then. So your skiing was excellent all season, um, maybe a couple too many misses on the shooting range so far. How confident were you that at one day it would come all together? Um, my shooting was not so good last weekend, uh, but my shooting has been good uh, in the training season, so um, I w knew that if I were just was focused and really want to hit the targets, I can do it. But uh, of course, it feels great to uh, to hit the targets uh, today, and I hope I can uh, hit some more targets <laughs> in the future. <laughs> How important is this victory also for your team, given that maybe this season wasn't going as you might have expected before it? Uh, I think it's important for the team to have a victory. Uh, we are a strong team, but uh, like you said, we have uh, a little bit too many mistakes so far. So um, I hope the team is uh, confident that we can do it. And I know if I can win, we have more on, on the team that can win. So uh, I hope the other girls will uh, do better. Thank you. Congratulations again. Enjoy the moment. Thank you. Laura, congratulations. How much of a surprise uh, is the second place for you in, in the first competition this winter, given after what yourself uh, called a very difficult summer for yourself? Mm, yeah, for me, it's a really special day today because um, yeah, in the summer it was really hard. It was really difficult. I had an injury and I couldn't train for about two months. And um, yeah, when I look back in the end of September, I was lying in the hospital and um, it was I was not able to do anything to go out or so on and um, now I'm sitting here and I'm on the podium again and yeah it's very emotional and it's a really special moment. Now in the past years when you've been at the start um, you were quite sure about the level of your performance but today you go to the start probably with a lot of question marks a very high bib difficult conditions how did how did you approach this mentally? Um, uh, this situation, or oh, I love such situations when it's difficult, when it's an adventure, when you don't know um, how it will be. And um, yeah, last week I started in the IBU Cup, my first IBU Cup ever, and it was so much fun. And um, yeah, I had really good weeks the last two or three weeks um, with the with the younger athletes and with the younger German athletes and my uh, training group from home. And um, yeah, I trained really good and I. Yeah, I enjoyed my life and the, the life with biathlon and um, I'm so happy to be back um, here at the World Cup level and I think it's important to have fun and um, yeah, to, to love the things you do and um, yeah, today I started with a big smile and I'm also here with a big smile. So as you said, your goal was <coughs> to have fun this weekend, now tomorrow you start with a very prominent number. Um, it so will be fun. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> So, but do you feel like an appetite also again for, you know, for success and, and what about your motivation after this day today? I think the most important thing is to have motivation and fun and both of this. And um, yeah, I'm really motivated. I love the pursuit. 
Um, I also like the tracks here and I'm happy to be in Novemesto. So um, I think for tomorrow, everything is possible. You have to shoot good, like always in the pursuit. And um, yeah, then everything is possible. How much does it help to, to have your comeback in Novemesto, a place that you have <coughs> so many good memories of? I think it's always easier to have good um, memories and good emotions on a place. And um, yeah, I love Novemesto because I started here the first time in an international race 2011 um, <coughs> at the World Junior Championships and then also my first uh, World Championships here in Novemesto. And so, yeah, I had also my first victory here. <laughs> it's a good place to have the first victory. And there are so many fans and everybody is really friendly. And yeah, it's it's perfect. Thank you very much. Congratulations. Thank you. Paulina, you're a very familiar face on the podium now. It's a, a third time this season. How difficult was it today in, in these circumstances? It was today really difficult to uh, to start and be mentally prepared for this track. It was really deep and uh, snow condition was not easy, but uh, yeah, we had a good preparation before the season in Lenzerheide. There was... Uh, snow like this today. So I, I mean, I was prepared <laughs> for today. This competition saw many misses in the standing shooting. Um, how did you manage to escape mistakes in the standing today? I also felt the pressure of the spectators here. But uh, yeah, I, I told to me it's uh, only me and my rifle and the target. <laughs> so I don't know, I just tried to keep my rhythm and uh, I don't know, it was zero, I was surprised, but uh, yeah, I, I saw my coaches uh, on the range like this, <laughs> so yeah, I was happy and uh, and I, I tried to do my best in the last lap, I, I met my sister <laughs> on the track, so I, I told to me I, I need to catch her and uh, say something. <laughs> Let's talk quickly about tomorrow. You you have done really well in the pursuit this season. Third place in Pokljuka, second place in Hochfilzen. <laughs> what happens tomorrow? Yeah, uh, oh, everything is possible, <laughs> but uh, I don't want to make pressure myself, and uh, I I just want to feel good and uh, make some good race and be focused on the shooting. You need to shoot good. But it will be windy, I think, tomorrow. <laughs> so we will see. It will be fun. Thank you very much, uh, Paulina, and congratulations again. Any questions from the audience? Jan Suchanček Radio. Laura, I would like to ask you, you are the fastest on the track. Uh, are you surprised that after such a pause um, you are able to do it? Um, yeah, I haven't expected. Um, also with my bib, um, it could be good, but it could be bad if you have a late bib. Um, today, I think I'm lucky because um, it's getting a little bit faster in the end of the race. So perhaps um, this was uh, yeah positive for me, but I haven't expected that. Any further questions? Seeing none, this concludes our press conference. Thank you very much.